It's day eight of our 2023 New Year's Challenge. Hey friends, it's Kate here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you are feeling so excited for today's class. I have been working you hard so far, and that's on purpose when our theme for this week is I accept the process can be hard. It's okay to feel challenged from time to time in a session with me. I want you to feel successful and confident in your body though. Don't worry if something feels just a little too much for us now and then. Now maybe our hips are feeling a little sore from the day before, in which case you are not alone. I often feel nice and sore after that series. But today's class is a lovely good morning stretch class. This is a gentle morning class. It's really meant to start our day on the right foot. We don't end in a regular shavasana on our mat. Instead, we end standing so we are ready to move on with our day. Now, I don't use any props, but as a reminder, you could always grab a set of yoga blocks or maybe a blanket if you know your knees are feeling a little sensitive. We're on them for just a very little bit of time today, so don't worry about that. Anyway, roll out your mat. Let's get started. We'll start seated today. Whatever feels good for you is perfectly fine. If you even wanted to sit on a block or something to lift yourself up a little, go for it. But just allow your hands to rest on the top of your thighs, roll the shoulders back, start to lift the ears higher, close your eyes to check in with yourself, of course, if you feel comfortable with that. Eyes open is perfectly fine too. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose. Easy sigh out the mouth. Again, big inhale, big breath out. One more breath, let it go. Seal your lips together, breathe through the nose. With eyes opened or closed, allow your chin to melt to your chest. Roll your right ear to right shoulder. Bring it back to center. Roll your left ear to left shoulder. Bring it back to center. Bring your gaze upright. Flutter your eyes open if they aren't already. Swim the hands up over the head. Take a twist to the right, right hand back, left hand forward. Envision there is a wall in front of you. Push into the wall, slide your fingers further away, look to your back hand. Unravel both hands, lift high. Same thing other side, take your twist. Use your abdominal muscles to help facilitate that twist. Unravel both hands up. Hands behind the head, clasp the hands, poke the elbows wide. Maybe this is enough of a heart opening stretch. If you want something a little more, roll the shoulders back. Maybe take your gaze up to the sky. I envision a string attached to the front of my chest, physically pulling me up. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, gaze looks forward again. Once more, dip your chin to your chest. This time, pull your elbows into your sides. Now, I'm not yanking on my head at all. I'm just using the weight of my hands to maybe deepen that nice, easy feeling. Release the hands. Bring your gaze upright. Find a tabletop. Come into your tabletop and begin to cat and cow. Pause with a long, flat spine. Take your right leg behind you, tuck the toes, and push the heel back so you get a lovely stretch through the back of your calf. Rock forward and back a few times, if it feels good. If it's too much, that's okay. And then hold center. Take your left toe and point it to the left, point it behind you. Swim your right hand high. Physically reach your right hand up to the sky. It's like someone is holding it, pulling it up. And then swim your hand overhead. Find that big, beautiful side body stretch. 
it might feel lovely to stay here but honestly for me circling the arm especially in the morning waking up my chest my shoulders feels oh so nice so take it at your own pace reverse your circle other direction reach the fingertips up overhead again maybe think about pushing your right hip higher to the sky and then return hands and knees to the ground extend your left foot behind you push the heel back so we get that nice stretch and then a few times rock forward and back rock forward and back one more rock back pause this time we'll take our right toe pointing it behind us, lifting the hand high, enjoying that lovely modified side plank. Like we did on the other side, you might start by reaching it overhead. You can hold, maybe point your nose in a new direction, seeing how that changes things, and then start to circle your arm all the way around. Big or small, fast or slow, take it in the other direction. Reach the hand high over the head, big inhale. Return hands and knees to the ground. Another little round of cat and cow. And then from here, we're going to step our right foot forward. However you need to do that is perfectly fine. You don't have to do it in quite the same fashion that I did, but I've got my right foot forward, my left foot behind me, and a small lunge. Take your right hand to your right thigh, lift higher out of your waist. It's like I'm pulling your left ear up to the sky. Maybe swim your left hand high. I'm pushing into the top of my thigh with my right hand as I physically reach my left hand higher. Take a small side body stretch to your right towards the front leg. Lift back up. And from here, we might crawl our toe further forward and lean into a deeper lunge. If that's too much, it's okay. Again, hand lifts high, stretch up to the sky. And again, lean to your right. This time, if it's possible, take both hands to the sky. Maybe push the pelvis a little further forward. Big inhale. Big breath out. Surround your foot with your hands if you have that range of motion. And try to hinge at the hips, kind of pushing the hips back and forwards. You may or may not fully straighten your front leg. There's no necessity to do it. If you want to, push the hips back and pause. Walk your hands closer. Now, sometimes I find it feels nicer to kind of crawl my toe further forward than what it was. Actively flexing my foot, almost sticking my booty out behind me. I get a deep hamstring stretch the more I push my sitting bone to the wall behind me. You can also hold and can be completely still or maybe rotate the leg in our ball and socket joint, kind of like we did yesterday's class. Finding that rotation, I kind of swivel my hips side to side. I give you permission to hula dance in this class. And then pause, bring both knees together. Let's sink back into a child's pose, knees together or apart, completely your choice. And then roll up to your lovely little lunge on your second side. Start with that small lunge, left hand to left thigh, right hand starts to lift. I'm physically pushing down into my thigh, so I have almost a little bit of traction as I lift up and out of the waist, and then I lean to my left. Come back up. You might crawl the toes forward and reach your pelvis a little further forward. Notice if you're actively arching the back. If there's a little bit of extension going on back there, it's okay, but I'm not going for a purposeful back bend. I'm still trying to engage my tummy muscles. Lift a little higher, once more, lean to your left. Come back up right, maybe take both hands high if we have that range of motion. Maybe it's harder to balance here than we imagine. Take a full big breath. Hands reach to the floor, and again, start to push the hips back and forwards. And of course, I hope you know that you could always use a set of blocks while doing these lovely little lunge positions if it's too much to have our hands touching the floor. 
This time reach the hips back. And again, if you can, perhaps crawl the toe further forward. For me, the more I flex my foot and almost stick out the tushy behind me. Again, that's where I get that great big hamstring stretch, which usually feels really good first thing in the morning to me or in the evening if you're doing this in the evening with me. It is not uh, required to be the morning as you do this class. Rotate kind of back and forth. Find some movement for your hips, for your body. And then re-bend the knee, bring both feet together. Sink back to your child's pose. Roll yourself up to a hero's pose or kneeling. If kneeling doesn't work in our body, you can sit cross leg. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see me a little bit better. Hands to our thighs, lift out of the waist like we were doing in our lunge. Tummy's working hard. Take both hands to lift high. Drop your right hand down to the ground, grow an inch or two taller, and then begin to crawl your hand away, finding a side body stretch. Now, often I see people turn to look to the ground here. I want you to stack the shoulders and open up your ribs a little bit more. Take a great big inhale. Big breath out. A little forward fold. And a roll up to seat as you lift the hands high. This time, left hand down, right hand grows high, crawl to your other side. Stack the shoulders, lengthen through the body, just enjoy that lovely side body stretch. Another big forward fold. We'll do that one more to each side. If you do it exactly as we did the first time, that's awesome, but we have an opportunity to take it bigger if we'd like. Both hands up. Right hand down, left hand lifts. Take your side body stretch, pause. A few options, you can stay. You can start to push your hips away from your hands. So to your left right now. You might flip your palm so it's facing away from you. It might be facing me now. And cactus your arm. Maybe push the elbow back, push the shoulder back, point your nose to the sky. Great big inhale. Big breath out, look forward, straighten the arm, and another little forward fold. Roll yourself upright, both hands lift to the sky. Left hand down, right hand lifts. Lean and crawl over, decide do you wanna stay here, or should we push our hips over to the other side for a deeper mermaid? Pause, maybe flip the palm, maybe cactus the arm. Push elbow and hand back, point your nose to the sky, big deep inhale. Big breath out, straighten and look forward. Easy forward fold. Roll yourself up to a nice tall seat. Pause, gracefully or awkwardly. We will be coming into a downward facing dog just for a moment. If you wanna skip it, you can just come to a child's pose. But really bend the knees and shine your sitting bones high. Pedal the feet a little right and left. Nod the head, yes and no. Look up to the top of your mat. Walk your toes up to meet your hands. Slowly stand tall and straight, arriving upright on the mat. Take a moment again to check in with your body. How are you feeling? Ears lift high. From here, we'll take another little lunge. Step your left foot back to find the beginning of your lunge. Reach both hands high overhead. Lift even higher, almost like your hands are reaching for monkey bars above you, but allow the shoulders to still soften down the back. Full big inhale, big breath out. If we can, straighten your front leg, take your hands off to a T. A few times I want you to lift high into your back toe and then sink the heel down for a deeper stretch. Lift high into your back toe, sink the heel down. One more time, drop the heel towards the ground. It may or may not touch. Hands can stay wide or they can come to your hips. But I do want you to start to hinge at the hips. 
Now it's easy to look up, sticking your chin out. I want you to lightly dip your chin to your chest. Maybe bring your hand to your front thigh. Maybe deepen that hinge if you so choose. Like we did in our little half monkey, the more I almost kind of stick my sitting bone out behind me, almost, almost tipping my booty back, the deeper of a stretch I feel through the back of my hamstring. Take a full big inhale. As you exhale, rebend your knee, push yourself upright. Both hands, again, lift to the sky. Reach your fingertips up, take a big deep inhale. Exhale, step your feet together. Little wiggle, little shake. Same thing, other side. Bend the knees. Take your right foot or opposite foot behind you. If you wiggle, wobble, and fall over, it's okay. Swim the hands high at first. Find the length in your spine. Hold that new length that you found and then take the hands down. Straighten the front leg. If there's a little bend in the knee, that's okay. And then like we did on the other side, rise high onto your back toe, drop it down. Rise high onto your back toe, drop it down. Last time, lift, bring it down, pause, take a big inhale, and slowly start to hinge forward. Now you don't have to look like me. If you're a little higher than me, it's okay. We could absolutely be up here and you are still doing a lovely variation of your pyramid. The more we have length in the spine, we keep it so long. And the more I think about tipping my sitting bone almost back behind me, the bigger of a stretch you will most likely feel through the back of the leg. Full big inhale, big breath out. Rebend your front knee, lift all the way up. Once more, find that lovely length in your spine. Take a breath, step both feet together. Let's pause here at the top of our mat. If you feel comfortable, close your eyes. Big deep inhale. Easy sigh out. Maybe bring one hand to your heart and your stomach again to check in to see how you're feeling. Hopefully we feel ready for the day ahead of us or the evening if you're doing this later in the day. Take one more big breath with me. Let it go. And as always, my friends, I invite you to pat yourself on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed our lovely morning yoga class, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.